Welcome to the Crazy Down Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm like the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. I got another Olympic story for you. Okay. And I know you weren't crazy about the other one, but I know you're going to like this one. I, I'm, I'm, I'm champing at the bit, Even Jonas. more revealing uniforms. I'm joking. Uh, <laughs> so they have announced the 142nd International Olympic Committee had a session and they unanimously voted to bring a new event to the Olympic Games. Okay. I want you to take a guess at what you think it is. Is it Karma Sutra? <laughs> yes, tantric sex is what they're bringing to the Olympics. Hell yeah, it's about time, man. Um, I can think of all of the great tantric sex people I like. Barney. <laughs> um, R. Kelly. <laughs> uh, Guru Sean. Uh, Guru John. Myself. Yourself. All right. No. Anyways, you're actually really going to like this, I think. They're bringing esports to the Olympics. Wow. This is like, honestly, okay. Look, Jonas, I have to admit that you said some pretty beautiful things to me. And you said some messed up things to me in your life. This is one of the most beautiful <laughs> reveals that I've ever had. I try to make them special for you. It's been a long time coming. And I agree. It, I, I think that it is about time that we start recognizing some of these people's with, with people with hand-eye coordination that far exceeds decision making that transcends and the game sense of champions into the Olympic Games. Thank God. Do we even know what games they're fine they're starting with? Do we? It does. Know? It does actually say. What it, are they, Joe? I'm says, really. I'm like actually it, excited. It says it's not going to be games like Counter Strike or Call of Duty. Okay, fair enough. And I, you're, and some like the, I'm gonna tell you a couple that I know you're gonna hate. I swear to God, if it's Stardew Valley, I'm gonna kill Rocket myself. Rocket League. Okay, fair. FIFA. Uh, NBA wh- 2K. Hey, wait, wait. I Racing. Tekken. I... Tekken. And Street Fighter. Street Fighter Six made it. <laughs> yeah. Are you serious? <laughs> it's yeah. Rocket League, Street Fighter, Tekken, I Racing, NBA 2K, and FIFA. Hey, yo, let's keep it a buck right now, man. Evil's going on right now. Shout out to Arslan Ash. Took the Tekken, <laughs> man. Man is a god dang crazy on the Nina, man. Blonde bombs all over the place, man. I watched him usurp every comer. Anybody who came, he took them on, and they left. If he came, he cummed. And, yo, we cannot forget about the champion. Right now, Punk the God took Evo. No, e- mm, haven't had an Evo championship up under his belt for a long time. Been losing matches, but he is still what you can call a quintessential street fighter player. The best in the business to ever do it, some may say. Okay, I mean, Either I way. almost said it. Either way, I was watching some Punk the God before we came out here. I was literally watching his video where he's like, this is how I won Evo. That's how he talks, by the way. He's like, I won Evo, and he's got the glasses. <laughs> it's Paul Wall. He kind of kind of <laughs> He kind of has a little wall in his voice, a little bit. But either way, uh, I'm dude, that is crazy. I didn't think Tekken would make it. I could see how Mortal Kombat didn't. Yeah, because of um, the violence, yeah. Yeah, but very, very cool. Tekken, Tekken, and Street Fighter. Street Fighter, definitely. Street Fighter's been coming along uh Yeah, they greatly. reinvented themselves, right? They did. They came out with a new game, Street Fighter Six. It's a homeless fighter, is what a lot of people call it, because all the characters, they look Unhouse. homeless. Yeah, dude, they just, you know, they made all the characters kind of look like they're disheveled and homeless, like Ken. Even Bison looks like he hasn't had a shower. Yeah, had a nice meal in a while. Yeah, like you just want to, you want to give him a, a job. <laughs> <Give> him a <laughs> job? <laughs> no. Either way, this is super cool. I'm like, when is this starting? Is it, I don't know. It no? said, like, it said there. It said uh, the first event. So, but you know, not official for the Olympics. But you know, they have qualifiers. It said it'll be in Saudi Arabia next year. I think. Oh God, that's so cool! And so you're, yo, you gonna start training? You gonna, and, and that what's, what, you gonna, gonna start, start training? training? No, I'm not gonna start training because I don't play those games. I I'm so far behind on Street Fighter. Like the control schemes are so crazy, very crazy. That I've never played a game of Street Fighter or Tekken, but I can tell you a lot about Street Fighter and Tekken because just from the content <laughs> I consume and the, the tournaments I watch. But uh, I'm kind of disappointed not to see a fps on there whatsoever not even like it's probably because it glorifies violence 
And I understand that. I can see Overwatch being on there. And that's what I was, that's what I was going to bring up. Or, I oh, wait, no. It, it, I think it said League of Legends. LOL was in there, too. I forgot to mention That's that. not an FPS. That's an MM. Well, well but it's, it's, like, it's like an Overwatch-esque game, but not first person. So... <laughs> That's very funny that you think League of Legends is like Overwatch. Well, no, Overwatch in, is like, in, in the fact that it's a team based. It's a MOBA, is what it's yeah. called. Overwatch is a MOBA shooter. It kind of took from the MOBA uh, genre. We're not gonna get into that either yeah. way. But I would like, I would like to see something because Overwatch, when it's done on a on a on a team basis, it really shows you what team play can produce, and you just don't really get that in a lot of these other games. A lot of them seem like single-player games. Um, you were talking about, like, FIFA. That's one person against one person. Uh, racing is one person against one person. Even, like, the, the fighting games, even though I'm excited to see that, it's still one person against one person. I want to see more or more like of a team, team effort. squad-based. Yeah, like... where each individual has, like, a role to play, and then they add together kind of get something going. I think that that breeds higher highs when I'm watching uh, a, an Olympic event or if I'm watching a competitive event. So I would like to see more of that. I really hope Overwatch makes it in later if they find success with this. But honestly, nothing but praise for this, no, this change. No, I thought nothing it was really cool. Praise. I couldn't wait to tell you the story because I figured you would be like all about it. Bro, that did. That got me out of my chair a little bit. <laughs> you jumped up. You I did. You leapt out of I your did. seat. <laughs> <laughs> when you when said Street, Street Fighter, Fighter? <laughs> I know. Oh. That's why I said it last specifically. It was the second one listed, but I went in reverse order. So I've never played Street Fighter. Um, I mean, I played it in the past. I haven't played any Street Fighter Six, but I, I think that if I were to, I'm either a Lily, a DJ, or a Zangief, man. Zangief? He Zangief. coming up? Bro, he's strong right now. He was pretty trash and like a long time ago. Uh, not anymore, man. Snake Eyes has changed that, all right? We, we in a different time zone right now. Okay, so what's Snake Eyes? So that's another player. Don't uh, get me started, dude. I'm talking about Big Bird, Angry Bird, and then RD. You call him? You calling me out on my? <laughs> I know all of them. I know about nephew and Knuckle Do, just a kid. I know everybody, Jonas. <laughs> wow. I watch Street Fighter tournaments, dude. I didn't realize you were you were so hip to the bro, to, hip I, to the fighter. I, I look, I look. I don't know, <laughs> Jonas. I don't know. I don't know how how, autos, how autistic I have to act before I can disclaim it. Like, when do I have to start? When can that happen? You gotta go get to a doctor. I know, man. But it's it's come on. It's a foregone conclusion. All right. I I research games that I don't play. Like, what? How much more proof do I need? Anyway. <laughs> I know I'm insane. It's, it's not insane. You like it. Well, I don't know, dude. I'm insane until I'm diagnosed. No, you're actually not insane until you're diagnosed. Is that how it works? I think so, yeah. Oh, okay, well, cool. Yeah, yeah, I'd say you're not insane. Oh, it's why like, does anybody get diagnosed? Why don't we just... Because a lot of times you're doing wild shit and you get pulled in to do it. They're like against your will diagnosing you. Well, thank you for this uh, therapy session, Jonas. You're welcome. I appreciate that. Yeah, no, you're I'll good. keep that in mind. I'm good. Yeah. I'm not insane yet. Yep, you're not. So, I don't know, man. I... <sighs> I think that you are not going to watch any of it. I won't. <laughs> I won't. I'm not watching any racing games. Even dude. when I was into Madden a lot, I wouldn't like I I have played in a Madden tournament before. Um, did they had? Did they say Madden? They didn't say no, Madden. Madden. They said FIFA. There. No FIFA. Yeah, yeah. no world sport. Um, but NBA 2K made it. Yeah, well, because like here's the thing: it's a lot harder to cheese in a game like that than it is in Madden. You can cheese in Madden like really hard. Like, if they were, like, at the Olympics and then somebody started just cheesing, like, like could you imagine? The thing is, Jonas, is, like, you, you, you say cheese, but have you ever watched any Madden tournaments where, like, the top-ranked players actually play? None of that cheese that you that, that works on, on you or me is going to work on them. So cheese is one thing, but when you're skilled at a game, you're skilled at a game, all right? It's not, if it's a competitive game. Competitors can compete against like even the worst. I've seen Street Fighters beat uh, bots. Like script that is, I'm going to perfect parry every time you throw out a high kick. Nah, they beat that ish. So, when you're talking about competitors, you're going to see competitive play. I just hope that's what we get from, from this event. 
I mean, you would, I mean, at the Olympics, I'm sure they probably have like meta rules that if you're not following like game meta and you're being like cheap, they're just gonna like. I mean, me. I guess, man. I would, I would tell you right now that you should watch some Madden, some professional Madden tournaments. They have them all the time. But I guarantee people aren't cheesing in that. People are actually playing the because game. it don't work on the pros. It doesn't work on people who are good at the game. I know you played a lot of Madden in your life. You ain't a pro. I played. 1200 hours of overwatch more than that 2500 hours of overwatch i'm not a pro all right yeah i mean I feel being like good is different than being good <laughs> 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 yeah get good and then get good you know so anyways that's all time we have today's episode please make sure to like and subscribe for jonas yep <laughs>